family. Hey, how you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today is June the 11th. It is Sunday and it is about 1141 in the a.m. And I have come on to have a soulful Sunday on today. And actually we're going to be um, talking in reference to um, finding our soul purpose and things of that nature and um, looking into uh, the um, the part that astrology play in it so we're going to be talking about our birth chart our sun moon and rising we're going to kind of tap on um, like our north node um, our Venus and where those things are placed um, and all that kind of stuff so if that's what you are on today that's what we're doing today so if you with it Come on through. But first, before I get started on all that, I want to um, also give a profound thank you, a sincere thank you. Yesterday, um, I had met with a tribal member yesterday. I, I, I call you that. You are truly, truly a tribal member. I believe that um, my vibe called you into my life. And so, you know, as a, 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 a what do they call it? Um, and part of my social group, okay? So, um, and I welcome you. Um, there are so many life lessons and soul lessons to learn. And with that, that is deemed a soulmate. Um, um, family, not all of your soulmates are going to be your sexual partners and such like that or the opposite sex or whatever. They don't have to be that. Some people's um, soulmates are their animals. Some people's soulmates are elderly, uh, kids, I mean, all kinds of stuff, you know what I'm saying? So just understand and know throughout your life's past and while your life's path and while you're in search of your life's purpose, you will meet people in your life that are here to, um, to bring, uh, life into your life and to help facilitate your growth and so many other things and learn so much about yourself um, through them as we offer a mirror effect of basically who we are and that is who we attract. So um, we're going to talk about that and um, and go, go real deep into those things on today. But I just thank you so much because, listen, you know me from nobody. You know me from a can of paint. Still don't, you know. But um, I've read your letter, I've read the card, and let me tell you something, family. Wrote me a full-fledged letter, got the tablet out, you know what I'm saying, with the pen. Didn't go with text and all that shit, let me write you down, so then therefore you have reference to go back and see this is what I said, you know what I'm saying? Wasn't fucking with social media, let me write down, okay, what I'm feeling, Okay, let me write down how you impact my life and how you move me a certain way. Let me tell you something. We're here to learn from each other and I welcome you. And to have any type of feeling in reference to a woman and her children, that is truly a blessing. Your demo was on a whole different level. No, you didn't come with, okay, I want to bed you down and I want to do this and this and this and I want to do this and this and this. It was like, no, let me bless you. You blessing others, let me bless you. Let me offer you and give you your portion. Let me tell you something. Blew me completely back. Blew me back. You went on a whole different scale that I was like, oh my God, I'm still just a taken back. Um, <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's amazing on, on, you know, what is really, you know, what comes into your life and what you call into your life. And all this shit is karmic, okay? So you could be out here shucking and jiving and out here bullshitting and belittling people and, and on the come up and hooking and crooking and being mean to people and all that kind of stuff. You're going to attract that same type of energy. One thing about children, one thing you can find about kids, they, you, they cannot deny the energy. You know, if you, you see a kid and automatically they look at you and just start crying or you see a kid there with their mom they're holding on to their mom leg but they're just staring at you and they smiling and engaging with you one thing about children they can't they can't deny or change their emotions their energy is what it is they're some of the realest 
you know, and we can learn so much from them. No, they don't have our experiences, you know what I'm saying? But still, their energy is so profound. Just pay attention to a child's energy around people, even pets as well. Just pay attention to the energy. You know, you walk up on something, the dogs is just coming from the backyard barking at your ass, and you ain't even in front of the house yet. Pay attention to the energy and the energy around you because you are truly um, responsible for the energy that you bring. You know, and at any moment, you have the ability to change it. But a lot of people don't know that because a lot of people don't truly know they self. They don't even know. So I asked, you know, God to use me to be a liaison, you know, so then therefore I can help you and be a vessel. So then therefore you can cut through, you know, some of the trees and some of the smoke and some of the fog and try to truly figure out who you are and what is your life purpose in this life. You know, a lot of people are battling a whole bunch of shit that they, you know, that, that, that it's so from their past pain. You know what I'm saying? It's a post-traumatic syndrome that is rampant, that a lot of people are battling things from their childhood. They don't even know. They don't even know why they mad. You know what I'm saying? Because they've had this energy surrounding them all their life. They don't know why they mad. They don't know why they mad. They don't know why they're angry. They don't know why... Their relationships fail. They don't know why, you know, they become somewhat like a hermit and just closed into themselves. They don't understand or know why. Allow me to be your liaison to help you figure out why. My own way. I admit that I cuss a lot. I can't help it. I really can't. There's times which I'll be like, you know what? I don't want to do no cussing. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I, I prayed on this. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, strength, strength, strengthen and straighten my tongue to whereas I'm not crooked on nobody. You know what I'm saying? I pray about these types of things because I really don't want to be out here cussing motherfuckers out and tying one on. But that's just, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So that is still my fault. That is still my thing that I'm battling right now. I'm itching and shit. What's going on? Or is it just the energy? I got so much shit to say. Yeah, that's my song right there. So, yeah, um... So, um, so anyway, family, I, uh, I just thank you. I thank you so much because what you did for me, you did not have to do for me. You know what I'm saying? And, and it done nothing but boost my morale on the platform. Anything that you do in, the, in this life, when somebody say, you know what, you're doing a good job. You've moved me a certain type of way. I didn't think about that the way that you put it. You know what? I, I, I didn't even, I didn't even see the error of my ways or whatever the case you know what I'm saying? And, and it comes back on you to where, you know, somebody just, you know, showing so much gratitude for what it is that you do. And on this platform, you have to understand, <clears throat> this comes with a beast. It comes with a lot of things that, you know, that's not a lot of times discussed, you know, because a lot of people don't want to talk about it. It's like, you know, you're bringing more things into existence by talking about, you know, certain transgressions and certain evil. You know, but when I tell you, when somebody say, you know what, I appreciate you. I appreciate what you're doing. Let me donate to your platform. Let me, you know what I'm saying? Let me just be your friend. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to bring no harm to you. I just want to be your friend. Let's figure out our path together. Can you help me? Can you help me figure out which way I need to go? I'm not going to ask for no more than what I'm willing to give. I'm not trying to take from you. I just want to be your friend. Let me tell you something. Those are... Your tribal members that you truly need in your life. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. And I thank you. I thank you for offering your friendship to me. Fuck the money and, and all that other stuff. I'm going to use that Jamba Juice though. I'm so excited for it. Oh my God, I'm going to tear that Jamba Juice up. You hear me? But besides that, it's just the fact that you knew me from no one. You know, and you wanted to bless me. And I just thank you. I, I wrote it around in my head because I'm like, oh, my God, you know, what is this going to be laced with? Is this loaded? You know, is it going to be an aftermath to this? You know, and I didn't want to jump on it so fast because I'm not thirsty, you know, as some people call thirsty. You know, I'm okay. You know what I'm saying? But I still got bills to pay just like everybody else. And somebody is asking to be there for you saying, okay, well, I want to I want to bestow this gift to you. You know, and it's like, man, hold on, I can't do this. And 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 
if nothing else, is a depiction of my character. Because I didn't want to come in and use you, you know, because from the beginning, you were wanting to give me from the start. You didn't know me from nobody. You still don't. You know, this been you've been corresponding with me over YouTube and email and whatnot for only a month now. Not even a month, you know. And it's like, you know what, I just want to do for you. I want to do for you and all that. Man, listen, you know, and it was just, just, I mean, moving on a whole different level. And I just, I just appreciate you. I thank you for it, you know, and to include my kids, you know. For someone to ask a woman about how she's doing. Sometimes just ask somebody how they doing, you know, instead of just coming into the energy with what you got going on. Sometimes ask somebody, you know, how are you? How are your children? How is everything? Are you good? How you feel today? You know, that right there, that have you eaten? You know, how you feel? You know, anything, you going through some pain, anything hurting you, that kind of stuff like that. Those people, you need them in your life that are concerned genuinely concerned about you and not trying to get something from you but concerned about you that is big i mean you get me emotional right now because that is truly big and i thank you for that i truly thank you for that and i was weighing on whether or not do i meet with this person or not i don't know who this is and i i prayed about it i meditated about it and i was like okay I've been putting out pretty decent ass works. So I know God is not going to bring no evil towards me. Because I'm trying so hard to figure out who I am totally. And who I am not. And with that, you came in here on a whole different level. Let me get me some tissue so I can get my shit together so we can go on this right here. Hold on a second. Uh, any type of tissue will work. This is cool. Okay, family, let's get into the business. Okay, let's get into the business. Excuse me. Just allow us to get into the business. Let's get into the business right quick, okay? Okay, first, family, what I want you guys to do is, as you guys are trying to figure out who you are and finding out your life's purpose, okay? First of all, you have to have some faith, okay? Some faith in a higher power, some faith that... You know what? At the end of my days, something good is going to happen to me. I'm going somewhere. You know, you have to have some faith. I know faith sometimes is taxing on us. It's like, well, if there's a God, how could he take my mom? Or how could he take my child? Or how could God lock my child up? Or how could God, you know, bring me into this world, you know, with a disability? Or how could, if there was a God, how could God do this and that to me? Or whatever the case. You cannot question God. That's why it says, that's why it, you're supposed to walk by faith and not by sight. But in the midst of having faith in God, you also have to have faith in yourself. And having faith in thyself, you have to know exactly who you are. So then therefore, as you begin to know who you are, you cannot respond. And you won't to whoever somebody called you something that you're not. How can you respond to that? That ain't who I am. Who they talking to? You'll be looking around like, wait a minute. Who... What happened? I missed something. What we talking about? You know what I'm saying? It completely goes over your head because your vibration is not on that level. You're on a whole different frequency as that. So then therefore you can't respond because, you know what? It wasn't a direct hit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You didn't feel nothing. It bounced off. You know what I'm saying? Now you're walking around in an armor. Like I always talk about Zelda. And Zelda was going through this land and going through this path and, you know, meeting all these people through the village and, you know, forging the sword and all this kind of stuff for battle. Yes, it is a battle in your path. It is a battle, you know. And I truly feel as though I was placed upon this platform to be your liaison, to be the guinea pig, to be Tinkerbell and hold the light. You know what I'm saying? As you go through your path, I'm here to help. I'm not here to hinder. I'm here to help. I'm on love, light, and learning. That's what I'm on. I don't know. No, I, I, I ain't even, I, I'm not, I ain't got nothing to do with darkness. That's not where I am. I'm not trying to hoodoo nobody, put no spell on nobody. I ain't on that bullshit. You know, I'm on love and light and learning. So let's do that, can we? And as we're learning, let's have some fun with it. And if I cuss a little bit, fuck it. Auntie cussed a little bit. That's just the way my auntie is. You know what I'm saying? Just put it that way. You know what I'm saying? 
pray for me. You know what I mean? The words I can, you know, if, if God don't want me doing it this way, then therefore he will, he will correct it. Because I always talk about it all the time, but yet and still, I still call him, come on this motherfucker, cussing like a motherfucker. I don't know what it is. It's my fault. This is me. This is who I am. Okay, and it's like you have an option to either watch me, subscribe to me, thumbs up, leave a comment or not. You know what I'm saying? It is truly your option. But I do ask that you allow these commercials and shit to, pay, uh, to play, though. Yeah, I'm going to ask that you allow that all that shit to play. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, hell yeah, Auntie 100 with it. Yeah, let's let all that shit play. Go head on. Go get you something to drink. You know what I'm saying? That brown or whatever you want. And come on back in and come and kick it with your auntie from time to time. I'm right here, baby. I'm here for you on some real shit. There's other things I could be doing with my life. But God has put me on this platform to be here for you. So guess what? This is what it is. It's just what it is. This is the way I'm wrapped up. Okay? This is how my shit is set up. You know? So, but at any rate, though, I'm going to start off with an exhibit. Okay? This is going to be exhibit A. Okay, this is this is your homework. Get one. You can get one Amazon uh and get the used one. You know what I'm saying? Get you a cheap one. If you find if you happen to find it at a yard sale or whatever, or whatever the case, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Look it up online or you ain't even gotta buy this. Just look up what I'm saying online. Find your own shit out. I can't get the book right now, Auntie. But guess what? I'm online and they got all that shit online. No problem. Whatever your get down is, Auntie's still here for you. Or leave a comment below. Auntie, I can't get my book right now, but I'm a this, this, and this, and this, and this. Can you come on here and talk about it and let me know what's happening with me? Then Auntie will help you in that magnitude. If, if that's what we're working with, that's what we're working with. We're going to work in our realm, okay? We're going to be here for everybody. We're going we're gonna, to you know, gonna work this out, okay? But, yeah, but this is my particular book here. I did get it on Amazon, and I think I got it the used price, and I think I paid less than 10 bucks. And but I love this book. And so we're going to talk about some of this right here. So, but I also want you to go to cafeastrology.com. There you're going to need your birth certificate because with your birth certificate, you're going to need to know your time of birth, date, full date of birth, and where you were born at. Okay, I was born in Torrance, California. So then therefore, you know, I always know, like, you know, on your paperwork, it always say, what's your place of birth? You always need to know your place of birth. Your place of birth, not the place where you grew up at. Fuck all that. We need to know the, your place of birth, okay? My place of birth was Torrance, California, but I was raised in Compton, okay? I was raised in Fort Worth, Texas, but, you know, uh, I was raised in Dallas. Or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Your, where's your birthplace and where you were raised at. Those are two different things. You need to know that and you need to know the time of birth. So, um, you need to get your birth certificate. That's something you should already have anyway at your safe at the pad. With your, all your, imper, your impor, important documents. Your revocable trust. Your will. You need to have a revocable trust. If you have over $50,000 worth of equity. Whatever it is. Okay, you need to be having a revocable trust, especially if you're in the state of California. I know this on some other shit, but I'm just saying. When you die, your will dies with you. But if you have more than what that will will cover, you're going to need a revocable trust, especially when you have property and shit like this. You're going to need a revocable trust. That's a whole nother video. We'll talk about it some other time. It's back up in the archive somewhere. But, yeah, and, uh, and also with your power of attorney, it's just coming on my spirit to speak on with your power of attorney, a person can have a power of attorney over you, but once you die, that dies too, so they ain't got no voice. They can't go up in the bank talking about, well, I got a power of attorney. Well, where the motherfucker at? Oh, they died. Well, then check this out. You get nothing. You get nothing. But that revocable trust will end all type of motherfucker. Oh, we're going to probate. No, we're not. Here go my revocable trust right here. I got two signatures on there, or it's notarized, and all this right here. This is my wishes. This is, what I, this is what's happening right here. A lot of people don't have that, you know what I'm saying? As we see, Prince and a whole bunch of people didn't have a revocable trust, but you need to have that in your life. So look that up, too, as well. Just on some side note shit, some other shit, and some other shit, and some other shit. This is what I'm here for, to put you up on what you what it is that you don't know, okay? I'm the stepping stone motherfucker in your life that's going to help you along your way. That's my job, okay? Allow me to do my job. Okay, so, but when you go on this cafeastrology.com, you're going to need your birth certificate and all that. And if you don't have it, you can go down there to the Hall of Records. 
I can't pay auntie. It's going to cost me $15. I don't get my money until the third. I can't get that right now. Okay, no problem. Go down into the Hall of Records in your city or, you know, the, 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 the county in which you were born. And then, therefore, they have computers right there. You can go on the computer. You can look at the long form because the long form of, of your birth certificate is going to have the time on there. You have a long form and a short form. When you go in there and pay, now the long form might be a few dollars more money in a short form. Just say, okay, this motherfucker was born on blah, blah day. The mama name is this, that or there, and whatever. And the doctor and his sign, and that's what's happening, okay? But now on the long one, no, it's going to have all kinds of shit on there. You know what I'm saying? The birth and time, the this and this and this and that and this. Uh, I mean, all kinds of shit, okay? So you need to know that. Okay, so, and once you get that on CafeAstrology.com, then it's going to come out with all this shit about you, about the day that you was born, and this, 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 okay? And with that, the main things that a lot of times when it's time to, when people are looking up their zodiacs and trying to figure out, you know, oh, I'm a Virgo, or I'm a Libra, you know what I'm saying? I'm a Scorpio, I'm a freaky motherfucker. Yeah, okay, so what's your moon know? They don't know what the fuck you talking about, you know what I'm saying? All they know is a sun sign. And your sun sign is what everybody knows. I'm a Virgo. I'm a Virgo through and through. Actually, Virgo is in my chart about four or five motherfucking times. You hear me? So I know that I'm majority Virgo. That's just who I am. Okay? That's who I am. And that's what, you know, you see in me. Because my Venus sits in Virgo as well. We're going to talk about all that shit. Don't worry about it. Okay? I'm over your head right now. But I got you. Okay? So, when you, the main thing. That you really want to know about you is your sun, your moon, and your rising. Auntie, what's a rising? Because they got because some people say it's something else. Your rising and your ascendant sign is the same thing. Okay. Now, when you go on cafeastrology.com, you want to look your dude up, kind of look up a motherfucker that you've been trying to want to fuck with, and you're like, okay, well, I really want to know what this motherfucker is right here. Okay. Then, therefore, you might not have a time. So, they're not going to give you the time, but they will give you the ascendant node, which your ascendant node is not the same as your ascendant sign or your rising sign. It's not the same. So, let me just go ahead on and knock that out right quick. Because Antia says, a ASC node, is that the same as the ascendant sign? No, it isn't. Okay, look it up. Okay, all right, it's not the same. But your ascendant sign is totally different. So, we're going to go one by one, and I do have me some notes here, forgive me. So, in there for a motherfuckers be like, why are you looking down? Because I ain't got no motherfucking what you call it right here on the side that the teleprompter and it's doing this right here digitally. I ain't got all that. Okay, but you can provide it though. And I had that motherfucker sitting right here. Uh, look, check this out. Courtesy of so and so, I got the real deal Holyfield right here, and it's doing it what it's doing, like Channel 11 News. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got that, so we got paperwork. Okay, 